Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to macro efficiently in uh, Plants vs. Brain Rots so you can get all of these guys and all of these uh, Brain Rots just over one night and actually even more. Uh, this is a special step that a lot of people don't know. So first, you're going to want to get this tiny task application. Uh, I'm going to put the link for it in the description. So once you have it downloaded, open it uh, you should have a little thing that looks like this and set your preferences just make sure you have in my opinion your recording hotkey should be f8 so make sure uh, these two aren't the same and then is what you want to do is talk to George you're gonna hit your UI navigation button it should be the button above enter unless you uh, change your settings and you're gonna click the up and down arrows uh, the arrow keys. You're gonna click the arrow keys and scroll all the way down till you hit Shroombino. Then is what you want to do is start your recording and then you're just gonna click enter to click um, and then click up arrow and then keep repeating until you want to stop at whatever plant and these will basically guarantee you that these are the ones that you're gonna be buying throughout the night. So let's say I stop at grape. Make sure you come all the way down. I would just stop it there. Um, you're gonna click the tilde key, which is the key next to the one. Uh, just move your mouse down. Go to brain rots. This button right here. You're gonna just click it once. Move your mouse back. And that's it. Click F8. And I can show you guys right now. There's an even better method. On PC, there is a second Roblox app right here. Uh, and I have it friended with my account. So if you have one monitor, you might want to have it set up like something like this, where you have the your alt on this side and your main on this side. Uh, now on both, like I said before, uh, you're going to talk to George on both. Also, make sure your settings are the same. Um, as you can see, my camera sensitivity is at 0.2. And on this one, it's also at 0.2. It's very important. Just scroll all the way down on both. Roughly look like this. Make sure um, you also have a full inventory on both. There'll just be a less chance of it glitching out overnight. You're gonna hit the UI navigation key on both, and you're gonna position them both to the Shroombino seed. Make sure to right click to make sure you know what window you're gonna be on to lock it in. As you can see, I'm right clicking and switching it. Because look, if I left click, it'll kick me out. So just make sure you're doing that. Um, so I'd start on this side. Just, I mean, that's just preference. But um, and just make sure there's not a lot of stuff in your way so it's easier for you. Uh, like I said, again, you're just gonna click F8 or whatever your recording key is. And then do the same thing, go up. And then come back down. Uh, then you're gonna wanna hit your tilde, equip, unclick it, click, right click here, come over, right click again. And then you're just gonna start clicking the up arrows again and enter. And then scroll down until you hit Shumbino again. Do the same thing, hit the tilde, quit best brain rots, hit it again, right click here, right click here, move your mouse back to roughly its original position, then click F8 again. Now, uh, you're gonna bring this back, click preferences, I would suggest changing your playback to whatever you had your recording to. It just, me personally, it makes it more fluid. So uh, I'm going to change my playback, for my recording to that. And then I'm going to change my playback back to the F8, what I had it. Move this off to the side. Now, as you can see, if I click F8, it's just automatically doing it. I'm not touching my keyboard right now.
and it clicks it. And then you can see it did the right click there. And then as you can see, yep, it switches. And then it goes back up. So yeah, basically, this will guarantee you uh, it just seem, if you have the money, it'll guarantee you twice as much uh, fruits, seeds that you'll get because whenever there's the amount in here, they'll be on the other side. And also just make sure you have to grind godlies and stuff like that. Make sure you have a full farm. I'm still kind of working on this, but like my main account, try to make it like this. It doesn't have to be as crazy, but you'll get a lot more um, emigs as you see over here. I mean, you can see this is this was just on my account. This is I, I, I didn't even start doing that. I just rebirthed on this account, so yeah. Now, you could also do the same thing if you wanted to grind gears. It'd be the same exact process. Uh, I just think sticking to the seeds is better just because uh, it's just better for trading the value and everything like that. Plus, like I said, you can give your whatever account you favor most the seeds. Like a couple of these are from my alt, so I just kind of put them on here. Uh, like this watermelon I got from my alt and one of these car Mr. Carrots. Also, this kind of helps with the grinding fusions. Like these were sped up a lot because I got twice as many carnivorous plants than I did on my main. And then I was able to just use the Chalala Chalala's to uh, grind for that. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's super easy once you get the hang of it. Just make sure your recording is fluid. Like you don't want to be too fast with it. And I would suggest not using this custom speed because uh, when it goes too fast, it just has a higher chance of glitching out. You'll you'll buy everything within the five minutes. The seed shop restocks. So yeah, I mean that's this is probably the most efficient way to grind this game. And obviously you can use potions and everything like that. And yeah, so this is the most efficient way to macro. Uh, plants vs. Brain Rots. Um, sub to my channel, guys. I'm going to be doing a giveaway uh, when the new update comes out. So if you guys want to get some free fusions and some better stuff that I have on some other alts, um, feel free to join the live. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, Wednesday, the 1st of October, around 7 p.m. PST. So, see ya.